hard work pays off, and today we are honored to present this award to this family who obtained the highest volume of sales for the whole year in the entire company. And not only they are rising stars, but they are also our top recruiter in the company, meaning they build great teams. And we celebrate them because they bring people together to help make dreams come true. So today, we recognize them as our top recruiter and rising star. And as a top recruiter, they made the most number of sponsorships since our last event. So let's welcome on stage, Sachin Patel. Dr. Bob, who said the fortune is in the follow-up. So I actually learned about Organo through somebody about a year and a half before Dr. Bob followed up with me. And that person actually didn't sponsor me because they never followed up with me. And so fast forward about a year and a half later, Dr. Bob reached out to me again and introduced me to Diane who dropped everything she was doing and came to an event that I was hosting. And as a result of coming to that event, that started the entire cascade and the river started flowing, so to speak. So thank you, Dr. Bob. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Dylan, for keeping Devon company and hosting us at the meetings. I want to also thank some people on my team that are here. I want to thank Andrew. I want to thank Amber and Natalie. Uh, thank you for being here today and also Dr. Brad. Our mission, has anyone noticed that the king's on back order? So our mission is to try to keep enough in stock so it doesn't go on back order, but to make sure it's right there because we want to get this into every doctor's office possible because I believe that the king coffee should be prescribed to every single patient that drinks coffee. Some of you may or may not know this, but coffee is actually one of the most heavily sprayed crops on the planet. So in fact, for every pound of coffee that we produce, not us, but that the world produces, one pound of pesticides is used. So when you realize why people are sick, so many people are starting their day drinking something that toxifies their body. So our patients are prescribed this coffee. And I have some of my patients in here who can testify to that. And we also recommend this to the doctors that we coach. So my mission is to try to get this into thousands and thousands of doctor's offices so that we can prescribe people who are coming to see us for health. We can make sure that the first thing that they do every morning is actually instilling a new software upgrade into their body, that they're putting the Ganoderma into their body, that they're putting organic coffee into their body, that they're also paying it forward by now you know, rewarding our, our not only our distributors, but our farmers. I mean, don't you guys love that new initiative? Yeah. Well, this, this company is so much more than a business. It's actually about family. And it's about raising the global consciousness of this planet. And I, I believe that the world needs more consciousness now than ever before. A fun fact is that Reishi is actually this the mushroom of spiritual potency. So it doesn't just make people live longer, but it makes them live longer in their highest form of existence. So it helps with increasing the spiritual potency of this planet. So it's you know my responsibility to try to get this product into as many hands as possible. And I want that to be your responsibility as well. What I kind of jokingly tell people is only give this coffee to the people you love. But here's the thing, love everyone. Yeah. <laughs> well, the old saying goes that pressure builds diamonds, and what I realized today, it's not pressure that builds diamonds, it's love that builds diamonds. And so I'm really proud, I know that we were up here before, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this a little brief, but 
You know, I'll, I'll share a funny story. Whenever anyone's coming up to me, because when I go to parties, people come up to me and they tell me their most pressing health issues. And Devin's usually standing by my side and they'll be like, Dad, did you tell them about Morgano? <laughs> So it's, it's so nice to see how this rubs off on the people that we love and the people that we care about and how if it's, it's so simple, right? Like a, a, a nine-year-old can say, hey, dad, did you tell them about Organo? Right? That's how simple it is, to share the products. Get them out there, get them into people's hands, and now we can travel the world, we can go to really cool places, we can have our amazing beverages with us, we can take people that we love with us on this amazing journey. I want to leave you with, with a few pieces of wisdom as we wrap things up. You know, one of the things that I learned a long time ago, and you might want to write this down, is that making money should never cost you the things that money can't buy. Let me say that again. Making money should never cost you the things that money can't buy. You can't buy integrity. You can't buy your reputation. You can't buy love. You can't buy time. There's four freedoms that I want to live through, and I want each and every one of you to take into consideration. The first one is emotional freedom. I want to decide how I'm going to feel every single day. The next one is time freedom. I want to decide how I'm going to spend my time every single day. The third one is geographic freedom. I want to decide how I'm going to feel how I'm going to spend my time, and what country I'm going to wake up in. And the fourth one is financial freedom. So when you start this business, don't start this business or try to grow this business focusing on the last freedom, which is financial freedom. Financial freedom is a result because if you have a million dollars in your bank account and you're miserable, it doesn't matter. If you have a million dollars in your bank account, and somebody else is tugging at your time and you can't spend time with your family and the people you love, it doesn't matter. And many of us have probably broken through, broken out of our corporate jail cells, right? So we want geographic freedom. We want to be able to go where we want to go. And the last one, which is a result, is financial freedom. I want to end by thanking one of my favorite business partners, and I actually want her to stand up, and it's my mom, Josna, so if she could stand up. There she is, I think it's time. thank you, mom, I love you. I appreciate you, and thank you for everything that you taught me, and I hope I have a amazing job. I love you. Thank you.